How do we use a patient's natural teeth in order to create a trial smile or a no prep veneer using ExoCAD? This is a really cool feature using artificial intelligence to segmentation to be able to give the patient basically their same teeth with some slight modifications. So, you know, sometimes we get patients that don't want to look like they have different teeth. They want to look like it's part of them and their personality. And so this is the way that you would do that. You would first set this case up as a mock-up. You're going to follow along in the wizard. What you're going to find is that the software is going to talk you through exactly how to do this. So here we are at the model orientation stage. I'm just going to look right down at the incisal edges of the, the patient's model from an intraoral scan, and I'm going to rotate that model orientation just about like that and hit next. The very second tab that you're going to find is a button called Start tooth segmentation. And what's really cool is if you come down into the options here, you could see you could define, define a tooth by clicking on it, or you could hit this auto segmentation. Auto segmentation right there is going to take it through an AI cloud-based algorithm where it's going to identify the actual teeth um, in the arch that you want to use and separate those teeth out and make library teeth out of those. So here we could see this is in uh, real time right here. It's thinking, it's trying to identify premolar forward, which is what I told it that I wanted to do when I set this up as a mock-up. And here you can see it's identified those teeth. It's using the FDI nomenclature for my American colleagues that are confused by those numbers. And it's going to now start the auto segmentation in real time here. It's identifying each tooth and virtually extracting out that tooth while creating a fully editable library tooth. And so now each of these teeth are complete wax structures that we could then um, further manipulate in any way possible that ExoCAD allows, including chain mode operations. And so I'm just going to go ahead and run this through the smile creator where I'm going to go ahead and merge the patient's intraoral scan to the photograph and make sure that I get an ideal alignment of the two separate and distinct images here. So first we have a retracted photo and we have the intraoral scan and I'm using manipulation of these um, control points to be able to basically align a three-dimensional model to a two-dimensional photo. And I'm going to bring this into the um, tool that lets me put my proportion gauge on here. I'm using a 165-50 proportion gauge and I'm hitting the uh, mirror image button here so that I, when I stretch number seven, tooth number 10 will be manipulated same way with eight and nine so every tooth is kind of uh, mirrored my movements and now i'm just going to go ahead and make sure that i have my anterior posterior position right my midline uh, where i want it and i'm measuring my front tooth 10.7 millimeters is um, kind of ideal for this patient so now i'm in the tooth placement tab and all i'm going to do and this is a no prep min prep case so i'm just going to push these teeth ever so slightly facial and we're talking about 300 microns or less and i'm just using some resize tools to go ahead and uh, manipulate the um, library teeth here which are now direct copies of the patient's natural teeth but with the added advantage of being able to manipulate these and once you have um, wax on the facial surfaces here, and again, using the patient's natural shapes, which is really cool, um, I'm just filling in any kind of little diastemas that I see and bringing in the patient's photographs. So you could see the augmented reality view, um, picking my um, teeth now to do some fine sculpting. And basically the, the main thing here is that I need to go and visualize my material thickness and make sure that I'm about 300 microns. So anywhere that's pink, probably will not print. So I'm just going to go ahead and boost the thickness to right at 300 microns to be able to print these predictably. And then from here on the lingual, I'm going to make sure that I have all pink, which means that it's um, going to be cut away and not actually be interfering with occlusion. Checking my cervical area to make sure I'm not doing any artificial crown lengthening in any given area and looking at the natural sulcus of where those teeth are. And the patient had a blunted cuspid, so I'm just going to go ahead and just give that a little bit more of a contour right there. And again, this is uh, basically doing very minor changes to the patient's natural teeth um, and putting just some ultra-thin ultra thin veneers on the facials there. So we can see we have a result here that's ready to go in the printer. I hope you guys enjoy this. This is super powerful.